Hello guys, my name is Adela Mi and I'm a member of Kairos Designers. So imagine you go to a site and you see an animation like this. You wonder what's the thought process behind it. In this video, what I'm going to be taking you through is how to achieve this on Figma. Trust me, it's a really fun one and you wouldn't expect it. I know you might have one or two ideas, but you really wouldn't expect it. Shout out to my guys at side also 4.0 cohort anastasia and the others for inspiring me to create this without further ado let's get right to it all right you're welcome if this is your first time if this isn't you're welcome back as i said in the intro we are going to be looking at the card shuffling animation in figma and first things first i open my file now i already have this landing page which isn't an original idea by the way i replicated the design to just achieve this so we have this and yeah we have the cards now the difference between all these cards is the skill don't forget is the skill so i just made different rectangles reduce the scale then I fit them with images from on splash you can install the plugin yourself just follow uh, one of our tutorials which is remove.bg all you need to do there is to just replace the remove.bg with on splash and that should be quite easy for you to proceed from there so now one of the first things you have to do is to size the this area because what you are going to be doing is the the card animation is going to be occupying this particular space of your design so you don't want to design something that is going to go out of frame or you don't want to design something that wouldn't align with what you already have existing as your design so what you are going to do now is you are going to uh, press a or the frame the frame button sorry the frame tool just switch to the frame tool and yeah this is basically what we are going to be doing this is all we are going to be doing is going to be sized here okay alt h oh, sorry alt v to just make it centered to center i think this is a nice position so you bring it out let me just bring it here okay here, here. yeah then you bring it out once you've brought it out, you give it a feel so that you can see all we're working with. Now, the trick to this is that for each of the cards that you're going to be using here, each of these four cards, make sure that you constrain their proportions such that, now imagine we have this. Or, once we change the property of one side, Let's say we change this to 579. You see, it just changes with respect to the width alone. Let's undo that. Now, what, but once you do this, constraint proportions, and you change it to, let's say, 240, you see that it constrains both the width and the height, the width with respect to the height. So, what you are going to do now is you are going to apply that to every of these rectangles. Sorry for the noise. Just apply that to the rectangles, the four cards. I'm going to refer to them as either cards or rectangles, as the case may be. So now, once you've applied the, the once you apply the constraint proportion feature, you just come here. Let's arrange them. First, make sure that they are centralized to the center horizontally. And option one one of the reason why i clicked on option here you click on the rectangle itself and you hover on the biggest card and you click on option so you are checking the distance of the rectangle with respect to the bigger card the distance of the second biggest card to the, to the with respect to the bigger card you can come here and you see the distance is 140 with respect to the frame so now what we are going to aim for is 30 you can use 30 
now i have done this before to make sure that it works so that's why i already have a fixed value so you can use 35 40 and you know you can use more than one card so let's this is the first this is the first um copy so let's just put it into this frame let's put it into this frame now i think this might be too big so now press k to scale and yeah just bring this here bring this here now i would love i would love us to do something now and that is to just uh, duplicate this duplicate this now for the card shuffling obviously once the, we are done with this first screen it will go to the back as you saw in the animation to go to the back and then the second one will come forward so now this is where the usefulness of the constraint proportion comes in because now you see that this has its value this has its value this has its value this has its value um i'm going to do something quickly now you don't really need to do it i'm going to do something quickly now and that's to make it bigger that's because of the values here so we don't have to deal with decimals now let's let me make my frame just higher then center this to the middle that's just something minor you just don't need to do it then as we did before we we'll duplicate it now as i said this second one needs to come up and this one needs to go back now what we are now going to do is we are going to edit each of the rectangles and give it the value of the next card so let's say this is 440 this is going to be 440 for the width and this that is 366 this one will be the next 366 and this which has 230 this biggest card will now have 230 i hope you understand so let's start from here this would be 230 230 you see now this is where it this is where um the constraint proportion becomes useful 230 now the biggest one i forgot the size of the biggest one so that is 440 so now this is 230 this would be 440 this would be 366 this will be 282 and now all we just need to do is arrange cards the way we did it right from the beginning arrange these cards but now what you do is you just send this to back you send this to the back one is i use the shortcut here which is the square brackets you can use the square bracket the opening square bracket would send it to the back the closing square bracket will send it to the front so or you, if you just you can also just right click and send to back you can you can just see the shortcut there now option to check 30 30 this is 33 now 30 this to this that's 30 that's cool so now i have this now i'm going to you know speed this up a bit i'm going to speed this up or i might just cut it to the moment we have done the remaining to just save time so i'll go ahead now So I have gotten my four frames. You can see from 
this frame which is first now um is the second here and you know vice versa one two three four we have four cards uh yeah so what we are going to be doing now is you select all this select the four frames and you create a component set you create a component set now then you prototype you click on prototype and you just link the first frame to the second one now here's where things get interesting we are going to just set this to after delay it sets to smart animate then ease in 1000 milliseconds and after delay the time should be 800 milliseconds this setting is coming up because i've done this before so it already is just hanging on my past settings so you do this then you also link this second one to the third one once you change to after delay you that works then you link this to this same thing after delay smart animate easy in 1000 milliseconds you can just i think let me just here for you can just pause here and just copy this and paste it onto yours or if you have other ones other timings that you would like to use for yours that's also cool as well so then you just send the fourth one back to the first one and yes set it to after delay as usual and basically you already have all you need now what you are going to do now is come to assets select your components and drag then drop here now we are going to remove the fill you know we added a fill sorry let me delete this we added a fill i would just like us to remove the fill because i know some of us in our projects wouldn't want to really use white backgrounds for that fill you might use different backgrounds so it works and it works anyway so just remove the fill then come here i think it hasn't been affected remove the fill now so you have your frame then you come here bring it in here you see we drag this out there's no fill there so bring it in here back then just set it to a nice spot set it to a nice spot and yes that's all we just view this and voila you've gotten your shuffling card animation so i hope you're able to get this if you have any problems please hit us with your comments in the comment section we look forward to receiving them if you have any questions also drop it please make sure to like this video share with your friends and subscribe to this channel because you are going to be posting more and more better contents we love to see you grow even as we also grow and we consistently share these things with you to help your designs get better thank you for watching this video we'll see you on the next one bye bye